Hi everyone, today we're going to prepare this file for letterpress printing. I'm really excited about this wedding and I think you're really gonna like this. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey, I'm a wedding invitation designer and I teach people how to design wedding invitations. If you're interested in pursuing this as a career, check out our membership called Stationery School specifically for invitation designers. I'll link it below this video. So this is the file that I have in Adobe Illustrator. I got a ton of videos on it if you wanna check out uh, the Adobe playlist on my channel. And we have finally gotten the proof approval. So I'm very excited. It's time to prepare this one for print. And this is gonna be letterpress printed, so we can't just send it to print with the colors and everything exactly as it is. So the first thing we're gonna do is save the file as a print ready file. So I'm just gonna save it for print ready and that way we keep the old file in case we need to make any changes um, to the text or anything like that because you'll see that we're going to outline the text and make it not editable and we're gonna make this look totally different. So then I'm gonna move this artboard down here so we have some room. The locked object did not move, which was the color paper. So this was a background that I had on there just to show that we're going to be printing this on a natural white paper instead of bright white. Okay, so this file is going to be on natural white paper. We don't need to put that in the background. You can keep the background plain white. The text is going to be one color and the mountains are going to be a blind letterpress. So what I'm going to do is make two copies of this file. And to do that, I'm just going to hold Alt and Shift and drag it over. Alt will copy it and then shift will keep us on the same line so that everything is even. And then we'll do it again. And I need to pull it such that this mountain artwork doesn't overlap the other artboard. So now I have three artboards with the same exact artwork in the same exact place. This is very important. The biggest thing you can do to mess up here is to actually move something up, down, sideways, etc. So don't try and just drag your elements or copy and paste elements. Do the entire artboard. So then we'll keep this artboard as the composite. That's going to show my printer what I'm expecting everything to look like. And then we'll go ahead and outline all of our text. I did this in a few different text boxes. It's not what I always do, but it was what we needed to do here on this one. And for this one, it's just going to be the text. We don't actually have to have the mountains. So I'm going to delete the mountains. And then on this one, we're not going to have the text. <laughs> we're just going to have the mountains. So I'll delete all of the text. And then on both of them, we want to make sure that everything is in a 100% K black color. So this is also RGB color. So we'll go with 100% K. Um, I'm gonna zoom in and just see if anything had a stroke on it. Yeah, a lot of this text did have a stroke, so we're just gonna make sure that stroke is also in that 100% K. Uh, let's check. I think this one must have also had a stroke as well. So we'll make sure it's there. And then I think, I don't think anything else had a stroke on it. And this little V that we did. Okay. So everything is good to go. And then we'll do the same thing for our artwork over here. We'll make sure it's 100% K. My file needs to be CMYK before I print. That's another thing I'll change. And this is showing up as gray because it has a low opacity. That's what we use to show it kind of as a blind impression in the mockup, but we'll increase that back to 100 because that is the die file that needs to be created. Um, and then I think I need to go into the different elements and make sure they're all at 100 because they are not. And then let's see, that looks like everything is at 100% opacity. So these are the three files that I'm gonna send to my printer. We're gonna send this as, hey, this is what I'm expecting it to look like. And we're gonna send him that this is going to be a blind impression with no ink on it. 
And then we're gonna also tell him a Pantone color that matches this color, which we've already picked out. We'll send him this file for the die for the text and this file for the die for the mountains. And we gotta make sure that we have the bleed here so the design goes off the edge at least an eighth of an inch in each direction and then he'll cut it down to the final size after doing the press. All right, so I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to prepare files for letterpress printing. I'm really excited um, and I'll show you this suite on Instagram after we've got it fully created. While you're here, I hope you'll watch other videos on wedding invitations, illustrator, printing, all kinds of things related to wedding stationery design. And if you're interested in becoming a stationery designer, I hope you'll check out our membership just for stationery designers called Stationery School, which is linked in the description of the video. Thanks everybody.